Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here. Today we're going to take a look at Adventures of Tom Sawyer from 1989 on the original Nintendo. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is one of my childhood favorites. It's very nostalgic for me. It's a really fun platformer with a little bit of shoot 'em up style levels as well. It's very unpopular and not well known. I rarely hear people talk about it, but it's definitely a hidden gem on the NES. Now I'm going to play this on my 1981 childhood TV, the Hitachi CRT, on original hardware, the NES. Now I'm going to record this footage directly and unfortunately through this TV it only has mono output so I apologize in advance but it gives it the most authentic period correct experience. So let's turn on the TV and power on and play some Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Alright, here is Adventures of Tom Sawyer. I'm gonna go one player and start a new game. The base of the game is this kid falls asleep in class and dreams up this whole adventure. You get your basic jumping and you can throw rocks. That's pretty much it for the controls. One little bit of advice I'd give you is make it rain these rocks because enemies come from all over the place really quick when you least expect it. Now there is a power upgrade here, which is a slingshot which shoots straight instead of the arch. But it is on a time limit. Now when you kill an enemy, you see that they drop this little icon, this T. You collect 20 of these and you get a free life. But there is skulls, so if you pick up the skulls, it takes away some of the keys. This game's not overly difficult, but it has enough challenge to keep you on your toes. There's the skull icon I told you about. See how quick that mouse came up? Like, you gotta be paying attention at all times in this game. There's only six levels in this game, so it is a fairly short game. But it's one of my, my more favorite this game as a child. Now the heart I picked up here is the invincibility, so I'm just going to fly through here as quick as I can. Now this here is just a sub boss, and he died really quick. Now these octopus guys will shoot this blue little blob thing at you. Sometimes it kills you, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really understand the logic of it. Better not to get hit by it. Look how quick that mouse came. Like I was saying, this is one of my more enjoyed games as a child. It's definitely a hidden gem, like nobody ever talks about this game. Which is a shame because, yeah, it's pretty good actually. Oh, that almost got me. Oh, that almost got me. out here. I'm already at the end boss of the first stage here. Some of the bosses here are just pathetically weak, while others can be quite challenging. But that one, done. Just like that. Now what I like is this game changes up the gameplay because now I'm kind of doing a, a shoot 'em up style level here, which is really nice. This level here is where it gets a little difficult because you got to stay on your raft, avoid things, shoot things, and in a little bit here you actually got to make jumps. And when you jump, the raft can separate from you, and you can take a dip in the water if you're not careful. Jump 
Wallow more than you birds. How fair. Yeah. I used to think these rocks sticking out of the water were crocodiles sticking their heads out. You can destroy logs with a slingshot or a rock. I'm invincible here. We're gonna take advantage of that. Collect some teas. There you go, you heard that little chime. I got 20 of these teas and I got a free life. Now these whirlpools, these whirlpools will suck the rack right from underneath you. You gotta be careful around them. This is a game that I'd love to practice on and actually be able to speed run how short it is and how fun it is. Take the left in the road I guess. Oh nice. Gotta make jumps wallow body rocks from this bratty kid on the side. Lucky I can't pelt him in the head with a couple of boulders. Wow, oh, I'm killing it. I think this is a big crocodile. Yep. Yeah. Those whirlpools are actually just pushing you, not actually killing you. I'm not doing any damage. I think I gotta get the rock in the right spot in his mouth. There, when it flashed, that was a hit. Slow down there. Oh no, there, got him. And that's stage two already. We're nearly halfway done the game. And it's only been seven minutes. Oh, I just gotta stop. My goal in this video was basically just play until I got a game over. I'm definitely making it farther than I expected. Whoa. I had one uh, viewer actually say to me one time in some comments where um, they like how raw my videos are. It's just play. Which, yeah, I don't edit out mistakes or, uh, or gameplay mistakes I should say. I just play and whether I do good or suck, you guys get to see the, the real me. Whoa. I just dropped randomly and just in time. You can say I'm kind of breezing through this. It's not overly hard. I remember there's a cloud level that gets pretty insane. I think that's the next one. All these monkeys. I think they climb up and throw rocks at you. Like jerks. Just make it rain. Oh, 
Oh, another boss already. Wow. I'm definitely killing it. Oh, the big gorilla. Ah, I remember this one. Oh, I'll shoot in the face. That was easy. Seriously, uh, that was too easy. Easier than the octopus, I want to say. Oh, this is the, like, scary level. I was wrong about the, the, the cloud level. That must be the next one. It's got a Castlevania vibe to it. Oh, fire, watch out. life, nice. Oh, and I'm dead. Wasn't expecting that skeleton dude. coming this time. Just disappear. Alright. Whoa. Oh, the blob. Slow down there. Oh, this witch. Ah! She shoots fire. So sporadic. Making it rain boulders on guys. Ah, oh, seriously? Well, that's lame. Get a little too confident. And slow her down. If I just keep pelting the bosses with the rocks, they can't move and shoot their stuff at me. I gotta say, the controls can be on the stiff side for sure. Well, how am I supposed to get this spider? Oh, there we go. Oh, this guy. I remember this guy being a pain. One of the harder bosses. He has some, like, bat or something to shoot to. First try, I'll take it. This was as hard as I remember. Oh, this is the bloody cloud level. I remember this being one of the more difficult uh, levels in the game. Those birds. Dang it. Stick troll. Or maybe I just suck. One of the two. Oh, yeah. Getting a little bit too confident again. So much stuff. I do find in this game if you just make it rain the boulders and rocks, it 
typically okay. Well, and that's game over. Well, there's only two more stages in this game, so you can kind of get an idea how short it is. But yeah, that's uh, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Definitely a hidden gem on the NES. One of my favorites as a child, and still really great today. So I highly recommend checking it out. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank everyone for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Be sure to follow me on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Console Collector. Instagram, the underscore console underscore collector. Twitch, Console Collector. Twitter, Console Collector 1. Thanks again for watching. I am the Console Collector. And until the next video, happy gaming.